loves and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Chakisha Sims and I am here to do a decorate with me in my Erin Condren life planner for my monthly and my currently page now if this is your first time here make sure you click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you will never miss any of my videos and if this is your first time, make sure you drop a purple heart in the comments box so I know that you are new. You never know, you might get a shout out in one of my future videos. So, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into September's Decorate With Me. Alright, so I have already started doing the hard or tedious part of this, and that is laying the date dots. Um, I know I don't have to because this is a dated monthly, but you know, it just doesn't feel right not using the date dots that come along with the kit. So you're going to always see me use the date dots, not unless I'm really having a really bad day or I'm feeling really lazy. I'm not going to do that. Um, but what I do like to do is just to lay the dots um, on my hand just to make it easier to pull and put on the spread versus taking each individual day. So I'll do one week on my hand, lay them down, and pull another week. Um, so what I'm doing now is whiting out all of this chunky lettering at the top. And only reason I'm doing it like that this week is because the actual sticker paper, um, not the sticker paper, but the coloring, it's like a tan or neutral so you can see through the sticker and I didn't want that to go down in this spread and speaking of sticker paper I'm really loving this matte sticker paper um, that I got off of Amazon and it's uh, I believe it's called mill mill cost it is a matte waterproof um, sticker paper and if you're interested in getting this paper it is in my Amazon shop you just have to look in the link look down in the description box for my link um, and it has all of the things that I use um, in my videos sticker paper some of my face whatever it is that I use 90% of that is on my Amazon shop um, and this sticker paper will be under my planner phase um, so I'm just adding this second header and I love these headers because it already has the days of the week attached so that's one less step that I have to do um, while doing this decorate with me um, so now I'm just going ahead and putting these um, I don't know what you I mean I guess you would still consider these like washy chunky washy strips at the bottom um, and these are cut specifically to cover up these empty boxes um, on your spread now on this Erin Condren layout it does still have the upcoming dates for the following month but I don't like to track that in my month that I'm currently in so I'll just save that for next month so anyway so these chunky washi strips come in, come in handy when you're trying to cover that up and as you can see I am using some of my simply gilded washi yes I'm super excited I've been watching some um, well, they're new to me, um, some of my fellow content creators on YouTube, because, you know, sometimes your girl get a little burnt out and I need some inspiration, and I have been binge watching, <laughs> like legit binge watching, like Paper Princess, um, Leggings Plan, um, who I've really been binge watching super hard is the Planner Sophisticate, um, she's actually Jacinia Plans. Um, but I have been binge watching her stuff super hard and one of my new faves is Gathered Plans. She is awesome. So y'all make sure y'all go follow some of those, if, some of those young ladies if you aren't already following them. And shout out to my sister Lisa Mack because she actually put me on to Gathered Plans. Because she was like, girl, have you seen her videos? I was like, no, but I'm going to go check them out yes you know planner girls love planner girls like I'm gonna support my girls um, so as you can see I am laying down these um, holiday stickers and I'm stoked about that because I struggle with trying to find holidays in my happy planner sticker books because I've used them all for the most part so 
the, the fact that they even included them in the kit is a win-win for me. I'll probably frequently get my kits from um, <laughs> the Paper Crown um, planner because her kits, one, are awesome. Two, it's just so much in her kits where I'm able to not only use it in my monthly, I'm able to use it in my currently section. And you'll see that shortly because um, I have included my currently in this decorate with me as well. Um, so now I'm just going in here and whiting out these lines because I wanted to create some uh, flag banner with my washi. Because again, I've been watching videos and I've been getting expi inspired. And you know who really inspired me to do the um, banners is um, Nikki Plus 3. I've probably been binge watching her ever since I got into my traveler's notebooks, um, especially the B6s because her spreads and her kits are fire. So yeah, if y'all haven't gotten a kit from her or watched her videos, make sure you check her out. That's Nikki plus three. Um, so now we're just kind of scratching a little bit of white out off of that um, date section, well day of the week section because it got off of there and you can use the tip of your exacto knife to scrape things off you just have to be delicate um, especially depending on the type of paper and ink that you've used when you've um, printed your stickers because sometimes it'll pull the color off but I have a uh, inkjet so the color pretty much stays in there I don't have to worry about it coming off if I scratch it up so now I'm just um, I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm actually like uploading and editing videos while I'm uh, actually filming my decorate with me. So that was me maneuvering my mouse pad, trying to upload a video onto YouTube for this week. <laughs> you know, I be multitasking. I don't just be decorating and playing and I be working. Okay, you hear me? Um, so now I am just going and finding some of these um, half boxes to lay throughout the spread because I actually have a lot going on in the month of September. Um, the second week of September, um, my husband and I, um, we're going to a conference um, called Build Your Church. And as y'all got, as y'all know, we are in ministry. My husband is a pastor, which would make me a first lady. <laughs> But I minister alongside him as well. So I'm going to minister or evangelist, you know, whatever you want to call me. But, um, you know, God has called us to start our own church. And the church that we're actually part of, um, where we're members, um, they offer these conferences that will help us grow and build our church for God. And I really like that um, because just like in this planner community, how you guys inspire me and I inspire you. I think it's important when you're a part of the kingdom and you go to church that, you know, the people that you go to church with inspire you to do great things as well. So I'm excited about that. Um, and I did put that box on the wrong day. The conference is actually the 12th and the 13th, um, which is good because I'm still able to go to work on Saturday because I am self-employed. So I still have to make sure I get my days in because at the latter part of the month, I'm going to pretty much miss a whole week of work because I only work Wednesdays through Wednesday through Saturdays and planning a better me retreat is at the end of the month. So I am going to be hanging out with hopefully a lot of you guys um, come the end of September. I am so excited. So if any of you guys that um, are watching this video and that are subscribed to my channel, if you're coming to the retreat. Drop me a comment below so we can, um, you know, start a, some dialogue so I can, you know, know who that's, you know, watching my videos or coming because I cannot wait to meet some of you all. Like some people that I have not met in real life, <laughs> and I say real life because we legit have a full friendship, Diamond and Pearl, I love those ladies. Like that's my sister and my niece. And we were just talking the other day and I was just like, Y'all, can y'all believe that we really haven't met in real life? I'm like, I might be hugging y'all so long, y'all gonna be like, okay, Keisha, get off of me. <laughs> like, because I'm so excited to meet them. Um, and then some other girls that I haven't seen um, in a while, like Monica um, from For Her Glory. 
for your um for his glory i love her i met her once when i did a holiday party that shea budgets and e michelle came and were my special guests so i can't wait to see her um and so many people that i can't wait to see and can't wait to meet um so please 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 drop a comment and let me know if you're coming to the retreat um so I can get even more excited like oh my gosh my subscribers are coming um, so let's get back to this spread um, so now I'm just adding this um, flag sticker to indicate my YouTube payday and this is where I keep all my printables and I actually created these script stickers you guys and I am excited because the way I created them is exactly how I wanted them like they came out perfect I mean the perfect size the perfect fonts the perfect cut I mean I cut them really thin so I got to take my time when I take them off um, but they are perfect so hmm I might not be ordering no more script stickers from nobody now that I know how to do them now the only thing that I need to do is to um, learn how to or teach myself how to fold I already kind of have the technique um, by using a laser printer and a laminator um, so I'm gonna get some full and one of my subscribers told me to check out Tuesday morning um, and somewhere else um, that way I don't have to spend a lot of money um, but I can still get good quality um, so I'm gonna have to remember to do that I might try to do that on Monday when I go look for this Starbucks cup anybody seen that new black Starbucks cup oh my gosh I can't wait to get it so I'm gonna finish up doing some little things on this spread and then I'm gonna go ahead and do some pin and I'll be right back. Alright, so now we are on the currently page and I probably say this is like my favorite part of doing my whole monthly um, decorate with me um, because I like combining both of them together doing my month at a glance as well as my currently page because the kit it's so much in the kit I can carry it over to my currently page as well so to all blend together um, but this is my favorite page because it's kind of like um, I kind of freestyle a little bit um, so this section that I'm working on here is where I would put all of my YouTube videos that I'm gonna do weekly um, and I like doing that because it'll want when I'm you know thinking of things to do I write it down for that week and when it's time to film I kind of have like a guideline of the things that I want to film for that week um, because sometimes when you just kind of do things off the top of your head, you're like, man, I forgot I was supposed to film a collab or oh, I forgot I was supposed to do a blog or whatever the case may be. So I like being able to have this section to write that information down. Um, and um, this washi here is just a little bit too long. And I don't know if just because of the way that this page is made or whether or not this probably just won't even make for this sheet anyway. Um, but it's nothing that a good exacto knife and a ruler can't fix. Um, so now what I'm going to do, go ahead and do is lay these, um, what stickers are these? These are, they're a little bit bigger than a half box. Um, so it's like in between a um, quarter box and a half box size. Um, but this is where I'm going to just indicate that I'm going to, you know, each week since they're four weeks in September, I have four boxes and what I'm going to do is add in some filming script stickers um, that I printed um, off of Etsy from the Planner Shack. Um, now that I know how to make my own script stickers, I'm like, I don't need these no more. <laughs> I don't know. I might gift 
give some of these printables to people. If y'all are interested in printables, um, uh, maybe I can share them with you guys. I can make sure I ain't deleted. Because I don't have a lot of storage on my computer, so I'll be deleting stuff. But I'm sure I can go back to my Etsy shop and re-pull it. Anyway, so um, this box was just a little bit too long. And I wasn't going to cut it at first, but y'all know I'm kind of big on trying to have everything cohesive and line up together. Um, those are some of my little pet peeves. I don't have a lot, um, but I didn't really like it poking out like that. So um, it's missing that one little side, but it's, you know, it's not that bad. What you think? All right, so on to the next sheet. So this sheet right here is where I really um, do a lot of writing. And this is where I keep all of my analytics um, so I can, you know, pretty much see my growth. And I know I've said this before, but I like doing this because I'm a type of person that likes to self-reflect. I don't live in the past, but I like to see where I came from. You're not going to know if you're growing if you don't have the evidence of growth. So I like to be able to, you know, go back to my planners, to my journals, to my notes and see where I was at the month before or even a year from now. I should be able to look at September and compare it to where I'm at this September. And if I'm not doing good, then that's going to give me a motivation like, okay, September 2019, I was doing way better than I'm doing September 2020. What do I need to do to pick the pace up and get better? Um, so that's the whole point of me tracking my things is so I can see my growth, um, to see where my growth has been stunted at. Um, so I really, really, really like this section. And all of the script stickers that's on this page, I made myself. And these were actually <laughs> probably like my first and second batch of stickers that I made. Um, but I'm going to use them because that sticker paper is not cheap. So I'm not going to waste not one sticker that I created, but I do plan on making some more. I was talking to one of my friends and she was like, you should make you a sticker shop. Why every time somebody makes stickers, people want you to start a shop. Like, I don't have the time. Like my energy, I can always push through for a good cup of coffee, but it's just making enough time. And I'm at the place right now where I'm operating like a stovetop. There's only four eyes on the stove. You can only effectively cook on four eyes. And even with that, you still have to be careful and watch the temperature and make sure nothing is boiling over, nothing is burning out. So you have to be mindful. So I'm operating in a stove top mentality right now. You know, I have lots of gifts and talents, but you have to make sure that you're able to manage them and watch and make sure that they are um, you know, doing what they need to do. You're not, you know, undercooking one thing and overcooking another. So that's where I'm at. Hey, that's a good podcast right there. Let me write that down. Hold, please. Alright, I'm back. I need to 
you know, one, write that note down so I wouldn't forget it. And then two, I need to take a breath. I don't see how, I, I know I say this all the time, but I do not see how y'all talk through a whole 20 plus 30 minute video. It's exhausting. All right, so as you can see, I whited out that kaleidoscope um, design around September because I really, I'm not a fan of that part. Um, so what I decided to do is, since I did the flags um, washi um, banner on the monthly side, I decided to carry that over on this side as well. And I think this may be something that I do going forward just because it's hard to put a sticker over top of that design. Um, and at least with this banner, you can do like a up and down, up and down kind of um, look. So all of this washer that I'm using is from Simple Gilded. Don't ask me what box, <laughs> don't ask me what color. The only one that I do know is the one that's in the middle um, that has that floor on it. That came from her, um, that one with the Sakura Dreams or Sakura somebody box, yeah. Um, but anyway, so I think this is gonna be my judge for my currently on this section. So y'all keep looking out. Let me know if y'all like this um, flag banner. Give me a thumbs up if you do and a, no. Only thumbs up, we don't do no thumbs down. <laughs> but just let me know in the comments if you like this um, flag banner um, that I'm putting down to cover up the kaleidoscope design that's around the month of September. Cause I'm kinda liking it, I'm kinda liking it. Hmm. Anyway, so all I'm doing now is just um, peeling up the part that I cut to create the little flag and just sticking it on my Erin Condren ruler. That way it makes for easy cleanup because if you can see my desk, I have so many little pieces of sticker bits all over the place that I'm going to start putting it on my ruler. Um, so, and as you can see, the ruler doubled as a guide to be able to cut that um, top of the washi off. So now I'm just going to add a, um, a little bit more washi um, just because I want to have that shimmy shimmy. And, you know, because foil just makes everything better. Foil is like sprinkles on top of the perfect cupcake. You know, it doesn't change the taste, but it just gives it a different look. Um, so now I'm going to just go ahead and add the pin here and we're going to wrap this video up. So keep watching. All right, love. So I have finished my decorate with me and a little bit of planning in my Erin Condren binder and binder. And this is my currently section and my monthly on the next page. And just to kind of recap, I know I did a little voiceover, but I still like to recap at the end for those that may just put it on mute <laughs> until it gets to the end. Um, so this section, I'm as you can see, I went back and put this YouTube sticker on here. Um, this is where I like to write what YouTube videos I would like to do each week. Um, and then that way it also will just kind of, again, as memory keeping as well, because this planner, even though it's my Sims Enterprises or business content, whatever plan or whatever you want to call it, um, I like to still be able to go back and see what I did previous months um, so I can see my growth, see how much I was able to film, and see the things that I fell short in. Um, so I think this section in this planner is very beneficial if you are trying to track certain things. So here, as you can see, I have the dates for that week, and I have it week one through four. And I may use this um, my sticky note tabs like I did last month, or I might just write it out and just do lines like I normally do in my Hobonichi, but we'll see. <laughs> so anyway, so this is where all of my analytics are for my YouTube and my Instagram. And when I write in this, I will write in here on September the 1st what my actual views and subs and all of that is what they are at that time and then these are goals that I try to set for myself every month when it comes to um, more of my social media and my content things business wise I mean I have goals but I don't keep them on this 
currently page. And then I want to get a little more um, active on my podcast. So I'm going to put some podcast topics here. Um, and as well, try to um, promote that a little bit more. Because normally I just post them in who's ever subscribed to the channel. My podcast, rather. Um, you know. So, podcast on Anchor. Let's talk. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, this I'll use kind of like as a brain dump. Um, or a section to put like any equipment or supplies I need, um, whether it be for social media or business, um, any collabs that I uh, may be interested in doing with someone, I'll put all of this here. So this is just my little dump section. And then the monthly, um, again, I typically don't do a lot, a lot of writing in here, but I ch I'm going to challenge myself this month to write a little bit more. Um, so what I've already done is put some dates in here that I already know in advance. Um, that's in regards to my business and ministry life. Um, and as well, I've had to put my bonus son's birthday here and Phil the Beautiful's anniversary is on September 9th. So I figured since I had to celebrate sticker, why not use it? Um, so I'm really loving this. Um, I'm loving being back in the Aaron Condren, especially since I could take the pages in and out. Um, now, in regards to horizontal, yeah, I'm not a horizontal girl. So you will be seeing a change in my layout come October, and I'm kind of excited about that because I miss planning vertically. So if you guys enjoyed this video, um, make sure you give me a big old thumbs up. And since this is a printable, you have plenty of time to print this out and put it in your September um, spreads. Um, I want to try to at least um, do my monthly spreads at least a week or two before the month. Um, that way it'll give you enough time to either print them or request them um, if you need to, um, you know, get the ones that's mailed. Because I think in my hope and you might as well mailed in. But anyway. Um, that's it. This is my decorate and mini plan with me in my EC Life Finder and my currently and on my monthly pages. Um, if you have not already done so, before you end this video, make sure you click that notification bell as well as the subscribe button. I said that backwards. Um, click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss any of my videos. And as well, if this video has inspired you, Share this with your planner friends so they can be inspired to create their own lovely plan. So until next time, loves. Peace.